guys and today I'm here on a small local lake in Rhode Island on the Rhode Island Connecticut border called Beach Pond and I'm just gonna be doing some trout fishing got great conditions out here you know beautiful flat calm weather they stocked the trout here on Beach Pond in back in the fall and it's mid-December right now and it's a beautiful 50 60 degree day there's definitely gonna be some trout uh, feeding so let's go catch some fish I'm gonna be trolling today and uh, I'm gonna be fishing in about 10, feet of, 10 to five feet of water, kind of trolling along the weed edge, and I'm hoping there will be some trout cruising along the weed edge, and that's where I'll catch my fish. I'm going to uh, throw out a, uh, a gold rooster tail spinner. That's usually a, uh, a good lure to throw out. But first, I'm gonna throw out a little tiny Rapala Husky Jerk, and I'm gonna troll that in my rod holder and then I'm going to hold the, the spinner in my hand. You know, so then I have two pre different presentations out there and you know, I'm hoping, I have a feeling this, this little husky jerk is gonna catch me the biggest trout of the day. Let's throw it out there. I'm gonna let it about maybe 50 to 60 yards behind the kayak. Rooster tail spinner out. Fish on. Whoa. Not a bad little fish. Shape that rooster tail spinner. Nice little stocky. There he goes. Basically that uh, you know that, that was my first brown trout of the day. Not a huge one, but you know, it was a start and he just ate that little tiny 1 16th of an ounce uh, gold rooster tail. And um, I was jigging it and he actually missed it quite a few times, or maybe it was more than one trout. It's more than one trout because then I know I'm probably going to work this shoreline back and forth. Right now I'm on the Rhode Island side of Beach Pond, and um, I launched actually on the Connecticut side. And I'm on the Rhode Island side now, and you know I finally got my first fish. You know I trolled the entire back of the lake um, over to here, and I was trolling back past this little beach behind me there, and that's where that I started getting bites, and they kept missing it, kept missing it, and then finally I hooked that uh, that little brown trout. in the shoreline and actually right in front of me here down the beach is the uh, the Rhode Island boat launch and I'm basically going to troll back and forth here because I caught one trout and see if I can catch some more. But uh, this time I'm going to be trolling two gold uh, rooster tail spinners and uh, maybe I can hook up, you know, get a double hook up or something. size is my first one, but uh, he's just, just whacked that, really smashed that spinner, Whew. that was intense, Oops. you know it seemed like the majority of the fish that they stocked this fall are, you know, smaller sized trout, um, I was informed there's a few like lunker size trout in here, but you know, that they're probably off in the deeper water or it's going to take a lot more, you know, trolling around the lake to really figure out what those bigger fish are. Look, buddy, get bigger. Fish on. He hit the dead stick again. So I guess they like the dead stick. It's a good one here. Good trout. Nice little chunk. Oh! 
is have a net. Woo! Probably the biggest one of the day. Not a bad little guy. Kind of about maybe 14 inches or so. But uh, I'm basically just fishing this same exact shoreline, just back and forth. And that's how I'm catching my trout. your tail. They're sitting along the same shoreline. I'm just going back and forth. Basically, a ways up, I have the, on the, on the left side of me, I have the Rhode Island boat launch, and then down here there's a corner, and that's basically, I'm just going back and forth between the boat launch and the corner, and I'm connecting with these trout. For whatever reason, they're holding or schooling in this, this little corner here. Probably because you know we got a we got a south wind and the south wind is pushing maybe whatever bait or you know bugs are in the water into this corner or along the shoreline behind me and the trout are sitting there and they're just gobbling up my uh, little rooster tail.